Damn. Bye. Damn. <laughs> What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I'm Ember the Blaze. And I'm Glacier the Iceborne. And we're Reaction Dragons. And if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Just do it! Thanks so much for the support guys. Now what's on the menu for today, Glacier? We're back at you somewhere Miss Marvel. It's season one, episode five, episode five. Yeah, this doesn't have a title for whatever reason. I'm sure it'll pop up later, but penultimate episode of Miss Marvel. Kreisha's going down, you know, Kamala. Essentially, she can time travel or she's locked in one of Aisha's memories. I'm guessing because she can, she's bumping against other people that are during all the chaos of the partition that she's actually time traveling. And maybe it's because with the bangle on the Nord dimension, it can transcend, you know, time and space. So we'll see if that is the case. And she's probably going to try to find Aisha and find exactly what the hell happened that day and where she's been and where true alliances lie. Because, you know, Najma on some bullshit. Shit. She took out her boy Waleem. Yep. And rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Waleem. And I guess the question is: Is, Kamala, is Kamala's body still in the actual the real Earth plane, or did it completely transfer as well? Did Najma travel because she's the one that stabbed the Bengals? So did she go with Kamala, or is she gonna be in the real world, like trying to find out where Kamala's body went? And I'm guessing Kimo, if, if her body is was just laying there or whatever, Kimo probably took her body to save Kimo, probably took her back to the headquarters until she actually wakes up for, from that dimension. But, or Vecna got to her first. Or no. Uh, they could easily cross references. She's messing with time. Vecna, scary ass from Stranger Things, could easily be there. It's too early for that shit, honestly. <laughs> so, other than that, I'm just trying to get into this shit and see exactly, you know, what kind of history trip we're going to take. But I'm ready, Glacier. You ready? I'm ready. All right, guys, as usual, take all the seconds, hit the like button down below. Engagement does lead to more views. As usual, you can catch the formerly watch along to this and much more of our content on our Patreon. Shout out to our existing patrons. Really appreciate you guys. That being said, let's fucking go. Ah, playing this old school vibe. I always love the score they choose for this show. Uh, Dang. This reminds me of the way Korra does the recap. Damn. Almost 200 years of Damn. Rule, India is free. Damn. So this must be after the partition? Two fucking centuries? Jeez. An unprecedented mass migration has begun. Damn. Millions of people make their way across borders. The consequence oh, so it's like right in the middle of the partition. To understand Jeez. Look at that. We must go back to a pivotal moment in the Indian struggle for independence. Oh, Gandhi. I definitely say Burning Asia. it. Yeah. Boom. You'll shoot nothing. So this is right after they escaped that, um, yeah. where that tomb was. Seems like even though they have like a hue that shows that this is in the past, it's still really colorful. Damn. Touch me and I'll break your neck. Ooh. Uh, I got a little late. You mean this one? <laughs> it's okay. I don't use it much anyway. It's a beautiful tree. Well, for one, I'd like you to stop trampling on my poor roses, but uh, from the looks of it, I think you need more help than they do. This might be Nani's father. There's a uh, food and a place to rest if you need to use my cottage. You want to sleep out here outside? Yeah, I'm guessing that's that's Nani's father, because remember, like, he was trying to get her on the train, but he had a, a limp. This is probably, like, origin story of their love. Now I know you're just putting on a show. No human life can resist the smell of a fresh fried product. He's like, you can only res resist my charm for so long. Do you have a name? Or shall I just call you Hungry? <laughs> you know, when I saw you out there, it reminded me of my favorite poem. Mm. What do you see? This charm's starting to work. Aisha. Ooh. My name is Aisha. Damn. There you go, you got the name. Well, it takes a little poetry. A beautiful name. Mm. Hassan. 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 So, yeah, maybe it's Love Bruce. Yep. Now it's time for a clean ass love montage. I mean, he's got the advantage. He's got the freaking roses up here. I know that you're pretty attached to that rotting tree branch. But I thought it might be nice to have a walking stick that actually helped you walk. Look at that. Thank you for making a home for me here. Aw. Oh, and dang. a family. That didn't take yeah, long. Dang, a little one. Little Nani. Well, I guess so to them, her name is Sana. So I still want to find out what she did or what people think she did that would give her such a bad name. Oh, little Sana. Yeah. At least they found a little little piece of happiness and all this yeah. crazy shit. Yep. You got their baby. You got a good woman. Ooh. God. Ooh. 
ना कोई मुझसे फूल खरीदने को तैयार है और ना ही कोई मेरी बीवी को दूध बेचने को तैयार है Damn. It's like blacklisted him. Oh shit. That's ominous. Shit, she found him. That's Hajma. Like, I want my bangle. Damn, there's even no roses out there at all. I don't think. Let me see. Hajma. So this is where you've been hiding. You want that ugly look? Okay, I want to see. Better hug me. We don't see. We're not have no crazy look on her. Like, I still don't trust the hug. We searched everywhere for you. But now that I've found you. We can put our plan into action. Oh no, she doesn't want to do it. Yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. Don't you want to go home? Of course I do, but I hid the bangle for safekeeping. Retrieving it will take some time. You have until sundown tomorrow. Damn. God. We will all go home together. And it's not a request. I'll hit you with this fucking lamp or whatever you want to call it. That's probably why she runs away. That's you have until sundown tomorrow. Or That's why she gets sun on the train, probably. Oh. Riots are spreading. Everyone's trying to leave now while they still can. This is all I've ever known. My father built this house for us. People are dying. It's just too risky to stay with Sana. Yeah, so she's like, you gotta fucking go now. But really, it's another reason, but... We can take our memories with us. Yeah, home's where we make it. As long as we are together, we can build a home anywhere, husband. Yep. What you seek is seeking you. Oh, that's what's Damn. on the bangle. You taught me that. What is seek is seeking you? Boom. Throw it back in his face. I mean, good. But it's crazy because that's etched on the bangle, even though that's one of Hassan's sayings. Yeah. Interesting. This will keep you safe wherever you go. I mean, I guess it's good to have it on her. Damn. Indirectly. I wonder if that thing's like sentient. Because you don't know how to use it. Yeah. Then it's kind of useless. But Sana is part Jin too. So maybe she kind of like saved herself. It wasn't really Aisha that with the trail of stars. Maybe it was Sana if she was wearing the bangle. Yeah. What are we actually running from? Who's that woman you're talking to? Mm. Ooh, I saw. Um, he deserves to know the truth. Damn. Tell me the truth. I need to show you something. Or else you won't believe me. You always said I was magic. Sick. Whatever happens, make sure Sana gets on that train tonight. Promise me, Hassan. Nothing is going to happen. Is Najma kill her ass? Probably, she's a cold-hearted bitch. Well, it's gonna be crazy because then it's gonna intercept with if Kamala's still here, which I, she probably is. Come on, come on. She was a kid. Let her on. You have to take her with you. What? You have to trust me with this husband. Aisha. For her sake. Aisha. You brought it. Damn. Aisha. Oh, that bitch. God. You turned your back on us. Where is the bank, Elisha? That's one. She'll be here. She said she'll be here. Get her on the train. No. Oh, oh no. yeah, you killed her. Fuck you, Najma. I love her with a bad reputation. Oh, you bitch. I at least would have stuck her ass. God. Oh, there's so many people. I don't know if anybody's even noticed her body laying there. Damn. Oh, shit. One's off. No, don't be saying that fucking. Damn, she's bleeding out. God. Let's get to see her daughter one more time. God. Yes, yeah, so why did I put so much dirt on her name? She literally got stabbed. Probably just shitty rumors that spread and spread. And she died uh, with her family picture. Wow. What did she do, like a spell? Oh, shit. Oh, sh Oh, so she's the one that chants it with that saying. So even without the bangle, she can still at least channel powers a little bit. A little bit, but not enough. She did, she enough did. to enchant the, the app. And got her out, but damn, so what, she did do wish it was enough to protect her from the stab. Oh, she used it to protect her daughter. Like, it's my last thing I can do. And here we have Kamala. So why is Kamala coming back here? I guess to get the full story? Or she finds Aisha's body. Maybe that's it. Yep. Holy shit. Damn. And she can see her. Damn, like time travel. Holy shit. So she's the, so Kamal's the one that does it? Yeah, it's like some so, fucking time travel shit. Wow. Damn. Gone. Done. Fuck, that's gonna be crazy. 
So she did it. It's like some Aaron Yeager shit. But it's like a, what's crazy is that she's already done it. Yeah, it's like a paradox. Like everything that's happened's already happened. And then Kamala's the trail of stars. <laughs> oh shit. That's crazy. So she can interact with these people. It's crazy that no one's looking yeah. at her like, what the fuck are you wearing? I'm sure that's the last thing on their mind right now. Like, I'm trying to get on this train and get the hell out of here. Like, this looks like future clothes. I can't do stars, Nanny, but I can do circles, okay? Whoa. I'm gonna need you to jump, okay? Oh, well, it's trail of stars to her. And Wow. No one else noticed that shit? Trail of stars. Maybe she can only see it, cause like... Okay, I'm about to say it, no people... Shut up. Showing it back to her father. Alright, all right, get him on. Get yeah, him it's on crazy, hand. cause she doesn't save Sana, and Sana never gets the bangle back to Kamala to go back here to do this. That's what's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy as fuck. Alright, time to go back where you were. Okay, so yeah, her body wasn't there. So no But probably in this plane it's probably instantaneous. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is that the veil? The veil. Yep. It's open. Oh no. Don't do it. All right, well, go. Get the fuck out of here, then. You're causing more problems. Fuck that. It's going to destroy the Earth. Now that they walk through it, go. Bye. Or if it destroys her, good riddance. Good oh. riddance. Damn. Bye. Damn. <laughs> you should have been the first one in there. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Earth's being destroyed right now. That's not what I'm talking about. There we go. I close that shit up. No, leave it open. Let her or the other girl walk through. Yes, you can. Come she don't yeah. care about shut them in prison. I left him behind. Good. So God. Get him. No. Yes. Fuck. Let's go. Get her out of here. God damn. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Or just transfer to him. Oh shit. Or does her soul transfer to him? Damn, yeah, now he's got. He's like, I have no powers. Wait, how did I go to him? What are you doing? Oh, I saw it. Yeah, did you see that? Are you witness now? Am I ungrounded? I can't believe what is happening. Who is that? Nani? Anyways, bye. Bye. So you are that lifeguard? Yep. That's me. When you have told you so many times over the years. Mm, yeah, they're not just theories. You don't want to believe me. Books in my face. They're not just crazy theories. This is for you. Got the picture. Apu. Wow. I went back in time and got that shit. Yeah, Muniba. Aisha wasn't a bad person. Crazy, I've done this already, though. Shall we go home now? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, this isn't over because it's only the Penelope episode. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, he has had time to mourn. Be really proud of you. Oh, there we go. You have my score. For you. I love how like through the episodes like piecing together her official outfit. She's probably not gonna have all the, the whole seasons. Outfit. Probably not even gonna have the outfit until the end of the last episode. It's Kamala. Oh yeah. It broke. What does that mean? What does it mean? That's your mother at your age. No. Oh. So look just like her. Oh. Yeah. Mom had curly hair like that. <laughs> yep, she was a rebel. I couldn't see what you needed me to see. Okay? I'm sorry. Let's go. But now she sees. Yep, we're all on the same page now. Which is good. Perhaps this was the journey I was intended to take. One that would bring me back to you. There we go. Three generations. Now when's the, when's the fuck shit happening? Because I know it's coming. Oh shit, homeboy's there. Brian. Yeah, shit. My name's Bruno. Damn it. What are you doing here? I don't know where else to go. So you're a call guy as well? <laughs> yeah. Wonder we've never hung out before. <laughs> like I'm about the original man at the car company. Bruno. <laughs> yeah. He thought your name was Brian this whole time. Oh, no, I had no noticed the first four times. <laughs> I need to stay here so my mom knows where to find me. 
Dude, she left you behind to fend for yourself. What makes you think she's coming back? She wouldn't just leave me behind like some kind of wolf. I mean, you're about as close to her as you're gonna get. Parents aren't around anymore either. Damn, so who do you live with? Well, I don't know if you're hungry, but my nona's out of town. She left some lasagna. Oh shit. Damn, some troll asses. Oh shit, damn. Oh no! Oh. Oh, there you go, powers too, and it cuts out in an episode. Wow. Really? Yep, we're ending it. Now, bro can't, doesn't have a job, he's not to find a new job. So shit. she gave him powers, but she's not coming back. Holy shit, another great episode. Uh, so I don't know the name of it, but episode five, Glacier, what did you think? Yeah, fantastic episode of Miss Marvel. I love the flashback, love the history lessons, and um, I know Ember and me are definitely, uh, I would say we're, went to college. I would say I never went to college, but I guess I can say I went to college when it comes to time travel. That's what I feel like, so I feel like I'm a little educated on some of it. Definitely at least nothing else a crash course on time travel because of all the other time travel shows you watched. Yep. And yeah, this is a clear example. I don't know if you would call this a, uh, a bootstrap paradox, but it's essentially a paradox where essentially whatever happens, happens. So essentially that whole saying, you know, what you seek is seeking you. That's some kind of enchantment that um, that I should put on the bangle. And that's from a saying that she heard her husband, Hassan, say. So I love how the little tie back there, we get the history of that saying, the fact that he was a leader and that was essentially the love interest. He, he accepted her when she was running away, didn't ask her where she was running from, yeah. accepted her, and they had a family together amidst all the chaos of the partition, the British you know, occupation and all that. So, yeah. but it's crazy that like, I'm thinking that like it had nothing to do with Najma stabbing the bangle that sent her back through time. It was the fact that in that moment when Aisha was dying, she said that saying, which essentially enchanted the bangle. And it, I think it just activated at the same time that Najma stabbed it. Yeah. But she was probably expecting the Sana would still have the bangle, but essentially she didn't realize how much time it actually passed. Like, in, Cause I mean, you think about like time travel to, to Aisha, it was like a, literally a split second when she said this shit. Kamala came during that moment and then was able to take Sana onto the train with her father. Shinobi, you're my great, actually, I'm your, you're my great grandma and I'm your great granddaughter. Yeah, so, but it's or, crazy that, cause she initially thought that that was Sana when she first saw Kamala. She's like, oh, this is the older version of my daughter. But like, oh, sorry, it skipped a couple of generations, but I'm here and thanks to time travel, it doesn't really matter. Yep. So, but it's crazy that like it was Kamala the whole time that was the trail that, you know, created the trail of stars to get to to get Sana back to um, her father. So yeah, I mean, you've seen different examples, you know, Prisoner of Azkaban for the Harry Potter fans, obviously the show Dark, Umbrella Academy, plenty of shows have done it where it's like something that you think you're going back in time to just observe and you find out you're the one that actually caused this shit to happen. Yep. It's crazy as fuck. Or even like, even so you think you go back in time to stop something from happening and you end up causing it to happen. So crazy ass way that they tied that in. And now, you know, fast forward to the present, Najma and her, her gen squad are trying to go through the veil and they end up just getting turned to bone. Yep. I'm trying to think, I think it was just one of her, I guess you would say zealot or henchman, like only one of them tried to go through the veil. I don't remember seeing the other ones. The other one guy, one of them got killed to the bald dude. I don't he got killed by the veil or got killed by... No, no, he got killed by something else, but he's dead too. So I don't know how many of her henchmen she has left, if, if nothing. But anyways, you know, Najma is dead as fuck, but I feel like, I don't know if it was like a piece of her nor energy went to her son and that's why you know Kamran has the the newer powers now but i'm feeling like that's gonna either compel him to try to go through the veil because i don't know if it's gonna be something where najma like the speeder najma or the voice najma is gonna mean his head like you must go yeah. through the veil you have the power now i gave you some of my power and also he's gonna have to confront kamala and he's probably gonna think kamala killed her or maybe yeah, something and like maybe he blames her for killing her because he's like the way he came at bruno he wasn't coming to bruno like i'm gonna fuck like i'm gonna fight you but he's like coming out and i'm like no nah, my, my mom would never abandon me I'm like bro she abandoned you in a prison so yes she would yeah she left I mean, her ass in a prison stories all the time you know people are just feel like they're they're too like blindly loyal to their parents and they don't realize what kind of fuck shit they're on but yeah i feel like it's gonna be a mixture of nazma like whispering shit in his head or maybe like she's the one that's like oh Kamal's is Kamal's fault or I don't know like how they're gonna paint that picture but somehow I feel like he's gonna be compelled to go through the veil and he's probably gonna blame Kamala for his mom's death and then Kamala's gonna have to fight her ex crush. I didn't know that we found out that Bruno has, has no parents like at all. I thought, yeah. I thought he said that it's just gonna show his parents but he's like no. It explains why he lives by himself but now that the, I'm guessing the yeah, damage control obviously are looking for comics he broke out of the prison so he sent the drones and now like Bruno's of, job's fucked. He's like a tracker in him or something. How the fuck did he know that he would be in at Bruno's place. Well, I'm thinking they probably put him in jail. Maybe they did put trackers on him somehow. Wouldn't put it past me. So, yeah. but yeah, other than that, the Circle Q is destroyed. So Bruno's going to have to find another place to work. I mean, I guess he's going to Caltech eventually anyway. So he's he's going to quit anyways, probably. But they, that's probably the least of the worries. So now it's pretty much like Kamran and Bruno are going to have to team up and, and find Kamala. Yep. But at least now her mom knows what's going on. Everybody's on the same page. She's yep. probably not grounded anymore. And you know, at least three generations of the, the family are, are united once again. And yeah, I mean, again, yeah, I love the history side of it. 
I love like the beginning intro where like they did like that 1940s like old school reel like recap of what was going on during that time and and yeah this is a quick episode I want to say like without the credits it was probably a little bit more than a 30 minute episode but so much shit happened and yeah I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to go down in the, in the finale the only thing I'm thinking about is I feel like in the finale they always probably throw some kind of a uh, cameo so I'm guessing if I had to guess as far as cameos I'm thinking Carol Danvers might show up, uh, Monica Rambeau might show up, even if it's just like an after credit scene, because we know all three of those are in the, the Marvel's movie that's coming out next year. And maybe we'll see, you know, Ant-Man show up, because Ant-Man's been kind of like, they've been mentioning him a lot. He's been on the posters, he has his own podcast, he's kind of been mentioned several times or referenced throughout the show, so that'd be funny if Scott Lang shows up too. But great episode, can't wait to see the finale, Final Thoughts Glacier. Yeah, another fantastic episode, it'd be cool if we could get those cameos, it'd be cool if we get Tom Holland too, he makes an appearance. Um, do you want to know what, uh, I don't know if I missed something on the last few episodes, what the significance of that chain or necklace or bracelet, whatever it was that broke that the mom was holding up and she's like, oh, this broke. Um, so maybe I missed something you guys in the Dragon Squad can let me know. But other than that, can wait for the finale, Dragon Certified. Yeah, I mean, I know that's her name in Arabic because she wore that even in the first episode, but I'm guessing maybe that somehow ties to like she reutilizes it for her final, final costume because like throughout the show, she's been kind of like piecing together. She's got the, the eye, the eye mask that she got from Bruno. Now she has like the the red uh, the red dagger scarf that she got from Chemo. So I'm guessing maybe she reconfigures the the necklace. I don't know maybe if that necklace is also enchanted as well because that's gone through the Nord dimension too. Technically, I would guess unless it broke off before she went to that before she time traveled. But maybe she reutilizes it as an earring or something. I'm, I guess I have to relook at a uh, Kamala's final costume and see where it's where it's at. But other than that, you know, can't wait to see more Dragon Certified. Fucking hit it. There you have it, guys. Another one of the books. Real questions. What did you guys think in there in Jurassic Squad Land? Uh, for the comic book readers out there, were there any other Easter eggs that definitely tied back in this episode? Uh, what were you guys' thoughts on the whole time travel element of things and the and the paradox where essentially Kamala was the one that kind of brought her grandmother back on that train? And, I mean, as far as... I want to know, like, what do you guys think the bad rep was that Aisha got where essentially all, like, the Illuminantes and Muniba, like, pretty much didn't really think too much of her? Was maybe the fact that they thought she abandoned Sana and just left her in hang, or did they... Were there, you know, rumors about her being a witch? I mean, there's a lot of rumors like she killed a man, this, that, and the other. Technically, she did kill a man, so I guess that part was true. She killed that British soldier in the beginning. Good. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, any other thoughts, let us know down below. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you like what you see, you can check out more videos right now. But until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.